Hi, I'm Caleb, and today I'm putting together a classic panini for you. Uh, pretty simple ingredients, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a pretty powerful taste. Good, classic Italian flavors, easy to make in your Jefferson apartment, your off-campus apartment. Uh, pretty simple to put together, so let's go ahead and get started. I have a real cheap uh, Italian, uh, Italian loaf here. It was, uh, I think, a dollar, a dollar fifty, so pretty inexpensive. Okay, so just cutting two pieces for the sandwich. About normal size. There, this, this Italian bread is a little thin, but it's thick, so it's gonna be smaller sandwiches. They'll, they'll uh, blow it up a little bit when you you push them down in the in the panini, and we'll get to that in a second. You'll notice I have this big shiny thing here. This is actually just your regular old brick that you can find somewhere, and you cover it with aluminum foil. It's going to be an important part of making this panini authentic, having a good smush to it. A lot of people use it, uh, use their, their, their foreman grill to smush uh, a panini, and it does get the, the rivets. I prefer to do it this way because you're, gonna, you're always going to have a stove top. This is real cheap and easy to put together, so let's go ahead and start making our sandwich. We're going to use some pesto here. It's just pine nuts and basil, a little olive oil. You can actually make it pretty easily by yourself at home, but the store-bought is just as good. We're going to put it on the outsides of the bread rather than inside because it'll kind of keep any greases or anything that come from our ham from seeping into the bread. It'll keep the rest of the bread pretty fresh. It's always a good idea to line uh, bread with, with a fattier uh, liquid substance like mayonnaise works well for that too, for keeping that bread texture alive and well during cooking. So it's going to work well for us here with having all this olive oil soaking into it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lay down our mozzarella first rather than our meat, because even though our meat is completely pre-packaged, pre-cooked, I'm going to heat it up on the skillet first just so the inside of the, uh, inside of the panini is going to stay nice and warm. I like to do that. Also works if you're using you know, a, a raw meat, like a, a, a thin sliced ham that, that needs some cooking. You can keep your uh, same cooking methods the same no matter what kind of ham you use. So that's why we're going to do it like that. So put together the, the mozzarella here, real nice soft cheese, like that a lot. We got our pesto lined here. We just got some fresh organic basil. Basil is really going to have some good strong flavor. We're just going to take a couple leaves and line them right down like this. And maybe another small one here. It's going to be good. This has a great spicy flavor almost. Not, not too peppery, but just a real good, real good flavor that's, that's definitely going to spice up uh, the bite. So let's go ahead and, and kick it over to the skillet, turn it up to about a medium heat, add some olive oil, get that ham getting, just, just warm that ham up, and then we're going to smush everything together. And it's going to make us a pretty delicious sandwich. Okay, so we've got a little bit of olive oil going in here. Like I said, we're just going to throw on a little bit of this ham. It doesn't, I mean, this is already cooked, so it does not have to be in there long. Just get it a little heat. I just want a little heat in the sandwich to make sure you get it the whole way through. We'll somehow flip those over. Move our sandwich over. Okay, once we have some color on these, that's going to be fine. I'm going to push them to the side. And drop this guy right in the middle of there. Move our ham onto our sandwich. Giant brick in here. Go right in the center. Move it right down. It's on medium heat right now. I'm actually going to kick it down a little bit. You can hear it popping. 
and I'm gonna let it sit there for really just a couple minutes just to really smash it and brown the uh, the bread, smash everything down, heat it the whole way through, which is why I'm turning it down a little bit so that the heat comes through and doesn't just instantly burn it. Five minutes at the very most on each side. Okay, we brought the panini back off there. Like I said, it was probably about two or three minutes each side. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right down the middle here. There you can see that beautiful basil in there, as well as the mozzarella, just everything coming together, smushed, like I said, flattened out, make a larger sandwich. Um, before we dig in, there's a really simple sauce you can make that uh, really enhances everything for dipping this into, and let's go ahead and make that right now. Okay, we've already got the pesto for putting in there, but if you do a 50-50 mixture of this and a little bit of mayonnaise, you're going to really have a nice sauce to dip your panini into. So let's go ahead and get some of that in there. Like I said, pretty close to a 50-50 mixture. Got your pesto in there. Get about the equal amount of mayonnaise in there. So we've got about equal parts in there. Maybe a little more mayo, that's fine though. When you start mixing this up on your own, you'll get the color and you'll realize what color you like and that's actually a little too light for my liking. Let's add a little more pesto in there. And really, if you make too much, it's no big deal because it has the same shelf life as the mayonnaise does. Just put it in a covered container and put it right back in your fridge. You can use it in a week or so if you're going to make another panini. It's going to taste about the same. That color is about great right there. All you have to do then is dip your panini right in. Get a little bit there. Very well rounded with, with, with the, the sharpness of the, of the ham. Nice, easy mozzarella cheese, real soft and, and, and flavorful. I'd say that's a pretty good sandwich. 